guys, thank you for tuning in to my channel today. I will be giving you a look at my fireplace that I have decorated for the fall season that is located in my family room. Right here, I'm just giving you an overview of how the total look came out. Um, so let's get started and I'll show you everything that I have and I'll let you guys know where I purchased it from. Right here on the left, you'll see two burlap pumpkins that I got from the bullseye spot at Target. In between those, I have a candle holder with a candle and I got those from my thrift store in this area. Right next to that are three smaller pumpkins in various sizes and colors. And the two smaller ones, that little orange and burgundy one, those are actually candles. And I can't remember where I got those from. Right next to that is the marquee sign that I got from Ross. I think it was about a week ago. And it was only $8.99. I really like it. I think it's really cute. And it lights up. So I'm going to light it up for you guys so you can see how it looks. Isn't that nice? It looks really nice at night. And I have my air freshener here. I just decided to leave that there. It kind of goes with the, the look that I was trying to achieve here. <laughs> um, I have a ceramic um, pumpkin that I got from the Dollar Tree. There's another candle holder with a burlap pumpkin on top. And the burlap pumpkin I got from the Dollar Tree also. And the camera hole I got from my thrift store. Right here, you'll see a vase that I usually keep on top of the fireplace all year long. And a lot of times when I'm starting new projects or trying to get a design going in my home, I shop inside my home first before I go out and buy anything to see if I can incorporate it into that new project. So that's what I did here. Inside the vase is some branches that I got out of my yard and I just stuck them inside, you know, and I thought it gave it a nice rustic look. Right here is also an item that I keep um, by the fireplace all year long. And it looks like, almost like a um, corn stalk. So I said, I'll just leave it there. Right here is a crate that I got for Ross. I can't remember how much it was. I've had it for a while. And I placed a pumpkin inside. And that's a gourd that I got from my local market here. And some corn and some acorn. And I thought that looked, looked really, you know, fall. I like the way that came out. Right next to that, I got a little bicycle decor. And I can't remember where I got that from, guys. And it has a little basket attached. And inside, I had some leftover filler and some little smaller pumpkins and gourds. So I just stuck that in there. And I thought that came out nice also. Right here you see I have two candle holders and on top of those instead of placing candles I decided to use pumpkins and underneath the pumpkins I have some leaves and I got these leaves in a pack from the Dollar Tree and the pumpkins I got from my local market also. And I know I used a lot of pumpkins in this design, guys, but I really like how everything came together and looked really well. And oh, um, don't let me forget to tell you about this right here. This is a garland that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's a fall garland, and it did come with um, some berries attached and a gourd right here and a pine cone and i did like the way the garden looked because i did want to use some type of greenery on the fireplace but i wanted to add a little bit more to it so if you notice on the garden sometimes they have little areas here right there where you can attach maybe a flower 
or of the berries like I did. And the berries came in a bouquet. And so I just took the berries off the bouquet and attached it to the gall in here. And you know, it just added to the whole look. I think it came out well, you know. It wasn't that long. I just decided to use one. I could have gotten another one, but I think one was enough. And I just like the look of how everything came out. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. And if you do, give this video a thumbs up. Please do not forget to subscribe. And as always, please stay blessed.